right, so back to this. I'm gonna be entirely honest, I may, I must be like hallucinating or something, because I went back in the video, right, the Chant Noir's Obsolescence video, and I looked for specifically for the other idea besides if Chant Noir became the Guardian. I couldn't find it, right? There was literally another video idea I had that was before, um, again, this video, right, of, uh, comparing, uh, um, Adrian and, uh, Marinette right to their PV counterparts, PV Felix and a Bridget. I honestly don't even know why I want to tell this specifically, I guess, uh, maybe that's exactly why I title it, right? Like, rank your save, but, uh, I don't want to name it, like, you know, PV and show comparison, because, like, I'm only really comparing the characters, right? Because, really, that's the only thing we get in the PV, um, yeah, but I mean, again, that's something to where it's like, so it's just, it'd be like, I guess, oh, I'm going to put a title, like, character comparison, right? Uh, Bridget, Fe or Bridget, Marinette, and then PV Felix, and then uh, Adrian, or maybe the inverse, I don't know, it doesn't matter, but w what pissed me off is I literally went through the art video, the Shad Noir's Obsolescence, where, because I remember I talked about, or I got the idea of, oh, what if Shad Noir became the Guardian, and then I thought about doing that video, right? Uh, which I did, I did after, but there's another idea I had that I wanted to do that I thought of that I just can't fucking remember. I'm having, like, I don't know if I'm, if I'm having, like, serious memory issues or what, but, again, it's something where it's, like, I literally can't remember, so we're just moving on right with this, because, again, I was originally going to title Chet Noir's Obsolescence, right, again, why Ladybug and Chet Noir are no longer friends, and I felt like that was a more appropriate title, uh, but again, I'm not going to make any sort of separate video. Maybe I make one on, like, because I didn't really talk about, or, like, I guess the stagnant. Honestly, you know, I'm actually thinking I make that video, this video, right? Yeah, I'm actually thinking I make this video on the stagnation of Marinette's character, right? Because, again, the issue being I focused kind of more on the whole Chat Noir and Ladybug side of things, right? Them long, uh, no longer being friends. I don't think I really focused on Marinette's character and, like, its stagnation, right? Because obviously you know i already have the adrian as a victim and now i have the shadow noir's obsolescence so honestly that's not too bad of an idea i think what i do and then this will be a good way to segue into the video that i intended on doing right which will be the character comparison between the pv and then the uh, show so actually that's what i'm gonna do right i still don't fucking remember what uh i want to do doing the whole shadow noir's obsolescence right uh, maybe, again, nothing related to Temple or Guardian, nothing related to specific episodes, so that takes a lot of that stuff off the Tain Oil. I wasn't going to do the post-season 5 stuff yet. I know what I was going to do. I think I was going to talk about, like, the breakdown scene, but, again, that's something to where it's like, yeah, I think I was going to talk about that, right? Because that's, but, again, I, no, I think it, it was something else, right? It was something else, uh... Maybe it was, again, the very end. I don't, I don't know. I, but I want, I know I want, since that one I focused more on him, I want to do this one now because this is, yeah, I want to do this one. So that's actually what I want, what I'm going to want to talk about. And that's going to be a title of this, right? So it's going to be, you know, Marinette Stagnation, right? Because, again, you know, let, let's put it this way, right? Season 1, very different from Season 4. Agree is the question, how'd you get the right? But anyway, moving on. So that's what I'm going to talk about, Marinette Stagnation. Cause, and this will be a good way to segue into these next coming videos right so moving on right also if i don't get 40 videos in the place which is nice you know a lot of these black screen videos right uh but again right was it the dude, that's gonna piss me off because uh, i don't know if i'm having like legit memory issues or something but who knows right who knows so yeah at least in terms of that right uh, you know, got a lot of these types of character videos, uh, I guess focusing a lot on the characters, right, I suppose, which isn't something I really did earlier, I focused more, I guess earlier I focused with these earlier recordings, I focused more on the story, but now I'm focusing kind of more on the plot, right, uh, bar a few ones, right, like the quality control one, that's kind of like a separate video, right, Hawk Month of the Future, I more so talk about that, right, uh, yeah, and then the most of the time I talk, I guess, crutch power, deleted timelines, and then even the wish is more about, like, a story, but, again, right, I guess, I don't know, I don't know, I, I think, yeah, I think this is something to where it's, like, I, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna rewatch that video from the beginning, because I, I started, like, I, because I swore I brought up the end, but, yeah, I'm gonna watch that video from beginning to end, and then fucking figure it out, at least before, 
Probably not, because again, it's 2 14 a.m. Probably not tonight, but what have I record next, right? Also, I'm pretty sure you can hear us if I do that. I should stop. But moving on, right? So, again, Marinette, it's stagnation, right? So, first things first, right? I think we should stay, we should say and establish, right, that, you know, again, you know, season one, Marinette is different from season four, right? And obviously, you know, what's it called, right? Arguably, you know, well, A, well, what am I even fucking saying, right? Marinette, season one, Marinette's different season four. And then, you know, you can make the argument that our characters are different as well. Like, also, season one, Adrian's different from season four, Adrian, right? Difference being, I already made two videos on Adrian, right? Again, as Adrian is a victim, right? And that Char and Shanda was obsolescence, right? You know, obviously, Chloe's character is probably the one that had the biggest fucking change. It's literally like a parabola, shaped like a parabola, right? But beyond, besides Chloe, right? And that's mainly just due to how they wrote her, right? Uh, since she kind of, like, switches sides. I think she's the only one who's ever switched sides like that, right? Like, I don't think anyone else has... Yeah, no one's worked for both Ladybug and Hawkmoth, right? No one's switched sides like that. Lila only worked for Hawkmoth. I guess... Felix, arguably, but he's not really on anyone's side more so than just doing whatever for himself, right? So, again, Chloe, that's just due to her nature, right? But, again, right, in terms of, you know, besides Chloe, right, again, the, the characters who probably have the most changes and most differences from, again, season one, season four, right, is probably Adrian and Marinette. I already made two videos on Adrian, which is why I'm making this one on Marinette. But I can say even arguably so, I would even argue that Marinette changed more from season one to four than Adrian, right? Um, for a few reasons, I'll get into the actual change later, but I'd say just kind of establish from background and context for a few reasons. One, probably, you know, uh, what would you call it, right? One, and I'd say the main thing is that, you know, most changes to... Chat Noir, like Adrian Chat Noir, appear to be like story related, right? They they're kind of from the story, right? They're not like I like to make this difference between story and plot because people use them like interchangeably, right? Like, and I even talk of like this is something that I even talked about during DLC much, right? Where it's like, you know, story, you know, have focuses on like timeline events, right, and things that happen. Plot focuses more on like, you know, basically the evolution of the story kind of like through the characters right the big thing and the big focus is on like the characters right you know their interactions you know kind of the change involving them right as opposed to like events themselves right again like that's why people make the whole like oh you know plot jokes right get it because i'm addicted i'm a porn addict right you know that's why people make those jokes because it's like oh yeah i'm in it for the plot i'm in it for these characters person that that's like the reason why they make those jokes we're moving on, because that's completely irrelevant, right? Right. The point being that, you know, for Adrian, at least, most of the changes to him, you know, seem to be happening story-wise, right? Or occur story-wise, right? I mean, because, again, it's something where, like, just, he, like, he, he has, let, let's put it this way, right? Again, he has a very busy life, right? You know, lots of things happening, lots of moving parts between not only him, but, like, himself his father, Natalie, right, uh, again, it, it's something where he's, I feel like, you know, that's fairly obvious, right, and, again, the thing being that, but he as a character, right, you know, in terms of, like, character interactions, and kind of, like, uh, what would you call, it, right, character interactions, and, uh, you know, sort of character attitudes, and, like, uh, what you call it, like traits, right? It's something where he doesn't experience it. If anything, it's a lack of that, right? That's the issue. Uh, it's a lack of that. Uh, but again, Marinette on the other hand, right? Like, basically complete opposite. Like, her home life is as stable as can be. As stable as fucking possible, right? So she doesn't worry about all the stuff that Adrian is worrying. Granted, the one big story event that happened to her was when she became guardian, right? I'd say before, obviously, she's still the kind of the main one to purify, but that's stuff that was established from the beginning, right? But in terms of the one, the one big story change that happened to her is again she became the guardian, which now we know doesn't matter post season four because Gabriel's all miraculous. So it's one big one versus Adrian, where it's a lot of 
smaller ones, right? But that has more kind of effect or impact on your character over time, right? And that's where we see a lot of his changes, right? Again, it's just kind of... And I'll get into this, how it affects in specific changes later. But again, you see that to have more effect on his character over time than Liva or Myrna was just the one story, right? But obviously, you know, and this video is on Marinette, right? So I'm actually not going to be talking about Adrian. More of her kind of change from season one to season four, right, is plot related, right? Again, you know, the biggest, well, the biggest plot point besides, you know, the wish in that being what Gabriel's trying to attain, so his motive or reason for becoming Hawkmoth to begin with, is Marinette's crush on Adrian and inability to actually fucking tell him, right? We're over a hundred episodes in, there's been however many plans, schemes to make it happen, um, and however many attempts that have been foiled. Like, literally, at this point, there have been, like, multiple attempts that... And we see in both deleted timelines, when they figure out who each other's are, like, they immediately just end up getting together, right? It's, again, that's something to where it's like... But obviously, that's, like, a big, pretty big plot point. It's something that shapes a lot of that character interaction, right? As opposed to Adrian, who has, quite frankly, a lack of it, right? That's the main issue, is a lack of it. Most of his change happens, like, by story, right? With whatever bullshit he's doing, I guess. With Myrna, it's mostly this... Well, this big plot point, right? I guess also a big story point of the Guardian. But also just, again, like kind of s smaller plot points that that uh, ends up impacting or affecting, right? Or sort of uh, bringing about as a result, right? Like she interacts with her friends. Like, okay, Adrian is Nino, but I mean, outside of Nino, he doesn't really interact with any of the main cast, right? Beyond just... I'd say, like, acquaintance level, right? Versus Marina, who's, like, actively friends with pretty much, like, all the females, right? And, again, not saying that as if, like, it, that's a bad thing. That's, pre that's pretty much normal, right? Uh, being entirely honest, right? At least for, like, uh, high school, right? Like, that's just... Uh, like, uh, well, Grant, again, I'm also not French nor Parisian, but at least for U.S. high schools, right? Um, but, again, it, it's something to where it's, like, that has a lot of an impact on it. And, right... You know, it's, I guess, these... Because the plot point, right? As opposed to that story point where it's one specific thing. This is just... It is one specific thing, but it's across the entirety of... Like, that's something to where it's like... It's a specific thing that shapes the rest of the plot because of it, right? Versus the story thing where it's kind of like... Okay, yeah, it shaped one season and then got thrown out the window, right? It didn't even really... It, does, it doesn't even really shape it as much. Because it's not as fundamental, I'd say... Uh, but again, that's kind of besides the point. I, I wasn't here to, like, compare Marinette and Adrian. I'm kind of here to talk about our stagnation. Because Adrian, again, right, like, his thing I already established, it's more so, like, story events that happen, right, throughout the story. Like, little things, because cause that's kind of the thing, right? He's constantly doing shit, right? You know, there's lots of story stuff with him, his father, Natalie, right? And it's the exact opposite of Marinette, who has a pretty stable home family life, right? And again, for him, the plot doesn't matter so much. Because, again, the issue is he has a lack of character interaction, right? A lack of that kind of stuff. Which, I guess, could shape it in and of itself. But moving on, right? So, again, I feel like we've established that for Marinette. You know, it, it's something to where she, if not arguably more in Adrian, has changed more from season one to season four. And I it also, it's not solely because of that plot point, right? That she's crushing on Adrian. But also, again, as... Ladybug, right? You know that. Then that brings the whole love square into, uh, into consideration, right? Because the, the whole fucking um. Because of all those, like, so, granted, we don't see it as much later on, but all those character interactions, right, from each corner. But again, it, it's something to where it's like, yeah, we we see her in, the, given that that main plot point, the main plot element, her crush on Adrian is the driving force for a lot of that character interaction. That's where a lot of her change comes from, right? So I feel like I've talked enough about that or made my point. So let's move on to like stagnation, right? And what I kind of mean by that. So what I mean by that and specifically again, season like one to four, like first I raise the question of, you know, you know, clearly, you know, she's changed from season one to four and I explain that, but stagnation, one, what, what do I mean by that? So when we go back to season one, right? Well, granted, if A, it may just be because season four is kind of bland overall in terms of a lot of that character in action. That's kind of a lot of what season four is missing. 
But the thing is that, again, and I talked about this actually in Chat Noir's Obsolescence and if Chat Noir became obsolete, or if Chat Noir became the Guardian Video, is that the issue and main issue with Marinette's character is that she's anxiety and stress incarnate. Like, that's literally just who she is, right? And what I said this leads to is it ultimately leads to most of her free time, or not even free time, but like manpower, like available, right, with whatever she's doing going towards ladybug right as opposed to asian who just kind of does it whenever he has time and then you know makes the post of it right marinette's just constantly stressing constantly worried anxious about it and then obviously you know when she's actually acting but that's something where again like we see this i feel like the most like prime example or premier example of this is after again she reveals to alia and she's literally like has a chemistry lab like in a room or something and alia comes up and is like you need to chill like you're gonna destroy yourself like burn yourself out doing this which is funny enough exactly what happens but it's something to where again right that takes a toll and i mentioned that and we can see that through her transformation right you know that's where her stagnation comes in again because she ends up so focused right you know she ends up so focused to the point where she can't even follow through on this whole like plot point she still hasn't told adrian how she feels right i mean that's like the biggest fucking thing she hasn't even told luca how she feels right it's that well obviously he knows she likes adrian but he hasn't she hasn't told her like basically you know oh you know i either do or don't right it's it's something where it's like in terms of that right again because because think about it right if this were normal fucking well if this were normal real life right you know i guess she, like what, what would happen is either she doesn't tell him how she feels bites the bullet and then move on moves on or eventually she nags her enough where she tells him, right? You know, obviously every time it happens in the show, it's through a medium that ends up getting neglected or like counteracted in some way, shape, or form. Or like, but like you just realize, but you just fucking walk up, right? You know, this this ain't my first rodeo, right? It's something where it's like, you, like either you bite the bullet and then fucking move on, right? Or you you tell them. Like, there's, there's no middle ground where what's going on in the show, right? Because, again, the issue with that is that's why we see her stagnation, right, again. Because she's still letting that eat away at her while simultaneously, again, putting all her manpower towards being Ladybug, right? Or reserved manpower, woman power, whatever you call it. Again, and then it's just something to where it's like the rest of her character gets, like, siphoned into those, right? Like, I don't know how else to put it. But basically, she becomes kind of like a husk. Like, I hate to put it that way or say it that Say it or put it that way. She becomes like an empty husk, kind of, with these two things being the only thing on her mind, right? Like, she may as well be, like, almost like a machine at that point, right? Where, again, she, like, I don't know how to say, like, imagine, like, you lose, like, all, I don't want to say color, but, like, brightness in your life, right? Like, you lose kind of all the, uh, uh all the color, I guess you could say that, right? Uh, you lose all the brightness, right? You lose all the kind of like, uh, you, you, you lose all the little things that make life like worth living, right? Like I hate to say it, that's almost kind of what happens to her again. She's been letting this, this plot point has been eating away at her for four fucking seasons, right? You know, she's been constantly, you know, putting her power into, uh, being Ladybug, right? Especially after she became Guardian. And again, it's everything's being siphoned into that, right? She's losing all the little things, right, that make life worth living. And she's becoming an empty husk, right? It's something to where the more it happens, the more it compounds. It's exponential, right? Like any, like the more she puts her manpower to becoming Ladybug, the more she notices the small, like, slip-ups and the small, like, mistakes or errors that she makes. You know, the more she puts into kind of like again putting off you know dealing with the plot point right plot element of like how she views adrian right you know telling him how she feels the more you know she just ends up feeling that way right you know because the more she thinks about like before telling him right the more she just feels that way towards him and then can't tell him because all of a sudden it's like that much bigger right it, like again it, it's just something to where it, it's not like let's say well, it, obviously, it's an adverse thing, but it's not something to where it's like, uh, you know, what would you call it, right? Like, Chloe's character degradation. It's not a degradation in the sense where, like, you know, again, she's becoming, like, just a worse person, right? And a worse character, right? She's a bad, 
moral compass. It's something to where, again, it's just like a, I, I think stagnation is the best way to put it to where, again, it really does just seem like like all of the little things are gone, right? Like it, it's gone. The, the show is kind of moving beyond, right? Granted, season one had zero story or plot, so it could focus on that. But again, it's something where, like, as the seasons pass, like season two and then especially three and four, right, you know, you lose a lot of the little things, right? A lot of the little interactions, a lot of the little stuff that, you know, may, well, I guess if you were in the character, like, experiencing that, like, make life worth living by observing, like, the little things that, you know, a character picks up on and then again, like, ends up enhancing their uh, character, right? Uh, but again right you, like once you lose those right again it's just with just the two again right just the two uh things right with her again the plot point of her not being able to tell you you know she feels along with uh, especially becoming the guardian but more so just spending time being ladybug in general like those are just and due to her personality right of being super anxious and stressed and like worried right uh, again it's just gonna eat her and it has been in a way her right to where now she's an empty house where again the little things which the little things which would enhance your character are now just all gone because everything's being siphoned into those two right the big two so again i think i made my point i'm still gonna go back into the art video i'll probably watch the whole thing at some point not now but again but there's that right and then that's something new where it's like i feel like i made my point i'm glad i made this video though because i didn't talk about as much in shadow noir's obsolescence because i was more so focused on him in terms of again right obviously like him and Lee, like they're no longer partners not even really friends obviously season four finale different but there's that right again right i still i don't remember what it was maybe it was this season maybe it was marinette's breakdown maybe i wanted to talk and actually no i can talk about that now because that's kind of the culmination right you know you can only do so much right you can only go so far you know with that kind of mentality before you burn yourself out or end up like again you know or end up screwing up right making like some sort of massive like or it ends up coming you know compounding right before it uh what would you call it right shoot what's the term before it ends up capitulating i guess right again and we see that with her breakdown as ladybug in season four right again it's it's something to where it's like in terms of that right uh again what it what it comes down to is that uh, it, it really just is something to where it's like, yeah, that's, again, and that's one of my favorite scenes, right? Not only in the finale, but season four, because it, it's realistic, and it kind of shows the result of that way of thinking, right? You need some sort of grounding or basis in reality. You can't constantly just be, like, worried, stressed, or, like, anxious. You can't constantly focus on, like, let's say, the, just fixate, not even focus, fixate on, like, these things right you can't fixate on like let's say putting all your manpower towards being a superhero you, you can't fixate on you know your feelings for someone without either moving on or telling them right because these things eat away at you they chip at you they siphon you right and again eventually it takes away everything else right all the little things from you and again that leads to and they'll compete jesus holy shit i i butchered that hard they'll capitulate eventually which we see in the season four finale and again it's something to where it's like, yeah, we really do see, right, the results and culmination. Obviously, season four finale kind of changes things because now, you know, she doesn't need to worry about being the guardian because she has none of the other fucking miracles. So good on her, right? You know, she fucking knows how, uh, again, she, 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 no, she no longer needs to worry about that part. But uh, moving on, right? Again, it really is just is, honestly, not just within the finale, but in season four in general, right? Because we've never seen, like, a meltdown. Like, I guess... I, I'd say the closest thing to that would be Gabriel after learning he's not the Hawk Moth of the future. Honestly, I'd say that'd be the closest thing. Like, that'd probably be the closest feeling or the closest thing. Ironically enough, I'm not sure. Has Chat Noir had, well, obviously in Shot Blanc, right? Or in any, like, I'm not using the Leah timelines, though. I already said that. In actual timeline, have we seen something similar? We've never seen him get a coup. He hasn't been coupatized in the actual timeline. Uh, again, but that's something to where it's like, at least in terms of that, right? You know. Uh, again, probably the biggest 
well, what about Adrian, right? Well, not because it, it doesn't need to be in a superhero form, right? Like, you can be an eye there. Uh, I guess, I don't know, probably some interaction with Felix because Felix is just an asshole, right? Uh, I can't. But again, the, I'm thinking the biggest thing we've seen similarly, right, was again, Gabriel when he learned he wasn't the Hawk Moth of the future, right? Again, right? I'm going to search it, but I think it's a great scene, you know, in a meh finale, right? Because it just raises more questions than it answers, right? And it just, again, right? There's there's just too many issues. But moving on, I, I feel like I've established the point of, uh, you know, again, right? That's kind of the culmination of her character direction. And I guess stagnation until now, where it, it, maybe season five is a rejuvenation. But I guess we'll see, right? Again, I will make the video on post season four right and season five stuff but again that'll be fun hold i still don't know what the art video i wanted to do was but honestly after this i may just go right into the uh comparison video between merit and adrian and then pv felix and then uh bridget right and then talk about you know basically how much better the other two are right but and then eventually ended off with kind of like you know the pv how it uh would have what we should have gotten like how it would have looked right you know moving on right I rewatched the whole video, uh, figure it out, right? But who knows, right? Who knows? We'll see, we'll see, right? Again, I didn't plan on knit, titling it Chat Noir's obsolescence, right? I plan on titling it, like, why are you and Chat Noir no longer friends? But I feel like that's just a better, I guess, rep it's a better sort of representation of that, right? We're moving on, right? I'm gonna end it here. You know, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, I guess we're nearing the end of the road for these videos, but I made a lot and I talked about a lot of what you want to, so I'm glad I did, glad I did, but I'm still going to end it here, right? I don't have anything else to say, so, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.